throughout my life, I have been very lucky. I have had parents who love me and work to put a roof over my head, food on my plate, and clothes on my body that fit me and keep me warm. Unfortunately, that is not the case for everyone. There are over 3,000 people in Sacramento alone that are homeless and need help providing themselves with food, money, shelter, and clothing. Just one example of someone who needs help is the nice person I pass on my way home from work every day. Um, how long have you been homeless? Um, and how did you get to where you are today? Well, I had a roommate and he moved out without any notice, so I ended up losing the house. And then what level of help do you get on a daily basis from like sitting and asking people? I get plenty to eat, get cash, of course, when people give me cash. I get plenty of dog food. Um, they love him. <laughs> and then do you have the necessary clothing you think for the winter? No. Thank you so much. You're welcome. There are so many people like this man who just happen to end up on the streets because of someone else's mistake and because of that are living their lives asking for help. The government, locally and nationally, are working hard to fund programs to help people in need. I was fortunate enough to sit down with one of Assemblyman Cooley's field representatives and discuss Assemblyman Cooley's views and agenda to help homelessness. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm a field representative for Assemblyman Ken Cooley, who represents the 8th Assembly District. Perfect. And so just a few questions regarding homelessness. Um, first, on average, how many homeless people do you see in a day when you're driving to school, when you're dropping your kid off, so forth? Uh, I live in Rancho Cordova, um, and I'm not a big commuter, uh, so I see about five on average a day. If I visit the park or the parkway, it jumps up to 10 to 20. That's a huge jump. Yeah. Um, so how much of a priority to Cooley is homelessness and has he voted to or against any bills regarding homeless, homelessness? Sure. Uh, well, I know that homelessness uh, is a big uh, issue for Assemblyman Cooley. He definitely wants to get as many people off the streets and out of their tents as possible. Um, as far as voting, he's never voted against funding for homeless programs. Uh, as my boss just stated earlier, a lot of the funding goes to the counties and it goes from the state through the budget process which he um, continually supports. And uh, locally, I know that uh, before he was an assemblyman, he worked with the city council to help establish the Make Their Veterans Village, which helps um, veteran homeless get off the streets. And um, uh, he and I both helped support and start the uh, HART, the Homeless Assistance Resource Teams of uh, Rancho Cordova and Citrus Heights, which really allocate resources and kind of uh, uh, help ne negotiate uh, assistance in winter shelters. Uh, for the homeless of the area. Perfect. And um, in the future, will homelessness be a priority on Cooley's agenda? Yeah, he's always looking for ways to help. And um, while I don't think that he's carried a homeless-related bill directly, he definitely is in support of those uh, at the state level and looking for opportunities. And on a personal level, he volunteers uh, to help um, feed the homeless where he can. As the first interview illustrated, there are needs that the community helps with, things like money and food. And as the second interview showed, the government is trying to help with things like shelter and housing. However, there is a gap, and that gap is clothing. If someone is on the streets and given money, the likelihood of that person using it for clothing is slim, because food is higher on the list of priorities. In addition, winter is approaching quickly, and it is getting colder and colder at night, and clothing should become a priority. The action portion of my senior project is collecting clothing and donating them to Sutter Center for Psychiatry. Homeless people are brought in for psychiatric help and end up leaving the hospital with gowns because the clothing they came in didn't last. The hospital collects clothes and gives it to the people that come in needing help. Unfortunately, the more people coming in means the less clothing the hospital has. I have gone around my neighborhood and asked for help from the school and my collection of clothing is growing. This, however, is not the only portion of my project. In February, I will be putting on a forum to bring awareness to homelessness with speakers that work with homeless people directly or around them, helping them any way possible. At the forum, in addition to the speakers, I will show a documentary made by another classmate. My hope is to pass along this project and have a clothing drive 
and forum annually to raise awareness about this issue. 